I am convinced that no one is fully educated without a full grounding in the arts. Sir Edward Franklin Alby, three, born on 12th March 1928 in Virginia in the United States of America, died on 16th September 2016 in New York, was an American playwright known for works such as The Zoo Story 1958, the Sandbox, 1959, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, 1962, A Delicate Balance, 1966, and The Three Tall Women. Edward Albee said, I am convinced that no one is fully educated. Yes, education is not bookish knowledge. Now everybody understood. Now Albee start, Albee started telling that. Writers started talking what I've been barking or shouting from the last several several years that a grounding in the arts is what is a you are not fully educated without a full grounding in the arts arts is what love arts is what your culture your samskriti once you are once you're not grounded means once you are not in the joint family and you are not taken the breath of your family tree, then your education is not completed. You are uneducated. You are a school dropout, a university drop, dropout, even if you have your degrees. It is very difficult to train this kind of people because they are the poison in the society. They create poison in a circle after circle. And that's what the rich rich wants, create poison finish them off. Like in some communities, they give them drugs, ganja and I don't know. So that these people by evening after the hard labor, they have this one and they lie down somewhere. Next day morning again. So they keep on getting people who, who, who can, can, they can make them drunk or do drugs. And in the educated class, it is the education is another kind of a drug. You keep on telling them to take another one, another one degree, another one degree, another one degree and looking for promotions and promotions and what is promotion? You don't know anything. But from the back set, all your money is squeezed out. Edward Albee said, I'm convinced that no one is fully educated. Your education comes from you trying to learn your mother tongue. I know. Now the family is a broken father has got a tongue, mother has got a different tongue. Now whether father's tongue, mother tongue, because they are the only two greatest guru you could ever get, which can transfer their language and their culture. Even if you don't see there is a culture, what they are trying to talk to you itself is a culture, listening to them. You are not finding time to listen to them, listen to them, listen to your grandfather and grandmother. Not a bit of question to be asked back. First of all, people who are asking questions are stupid. And the moment you ask a question, everybody knows you are wanting something back in return. You are demanding with a gun on their head for an answer. You are a robber. Please try to understand that. I am convinced that no one is fully educated without a full grounding in the arts. Full grounding in the arts. Grounding, that Indian grounding, they grind it properly. Grounding and grinding is very, you know, very close related. Even the chili is grinded and it, ground, it grounds it very well. That is what they meant, grounding in the arts. That is an art form, grinding the chili. The masalas, yes, and even the rice, they pound it beautifully, grinding, pounding it, bomb, 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 to make varieties of dishes. And that gives you a physical strength. You are, you are moving with the food item, you're moving with the, with the life itself, because the food is life. And in the life, you find power. And in the power, you find a creativity opening, which is understood truthfully. There is no truth from a book, but it is just the feel, smell, taste, touch. 
question C. I am convinced that no one is fully educated, said Edward Albee, without a full grounding in the arts. Sitting on the lap of your father and mother and grandfather and grandmother, giving them bath, combing their hair, playing with them, listening to their stories, just listening, that is the first meditation. That is the first path of Satori. Varieties of Satori's make you an enlightened being to just step outside the house. If you have not listened to your father and mother or elders or your uncles, then you have no right to keep your feet outside because you will not try to absorb. Somebody will start observing you. You cannot absorb what is good outside and then leave out the bad like the duck in the river. But it catches the prey and opens it up so that the mud and the dirt goes and only the prey goes inside. You become so conscious and you become so observant that you know what is good only you take it. And then you know there is an art. That art is called your Sanskrit. That art is called your love. In that love, you have an orgasmic experience which cannot be explained. Orgasmic, explain, uh, orgasmic experience is the sweat, the hottest sweat. A time comes, you don't even have to think. The body takes it forward and the flows of its own, it strikes without thinking. I am convinced that no one is fully educated without a full grounding in the arts. Ground it, grind it. You and your wife grind to become one to create a love child. Children and parents grind to become one to create a family. Families grind together to make it a joint family. And joint families cobra manure is so powerful for the family trees, roots to go dead deep for it to stand tall.